Hello, hello, hello. It's sunny Sunday. Greeting to everybody. Here's Auntie Jessica again. Hey, yet another green shirt. Yeah, in case you did not know, green is my favorite color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A color of what? Youth, renewal, growth. Yeah, that's my color. And this one here is for Roger. Yeah, my star, my superstar, Roger, is doing the work on my house. Yeah, Roger, we still, um, we still inching forward towards you, boy. Auntie ain't giving up. I'm giving up at all, boy. I'm getting there. Okay, so today's story, this is one I found. I took out one of the books that are kind of babyish, as my Kedar would tell me. Right, Kedar? This one especially for my nephew Boo Boo. Nephew Boo Boo, Auntie was supposed to read for you and then you fell asleep and Auntie never got to read with you or for you. So this one is called Sophie Snake Gets in a Twist. See it there, nephew? See it there, everybody? See Sophie Green just like Auntie? <laughs> All through the jungle day, Sophie Snake wiggled and slithered happily around the jungle with her friends. And every jungle night, she curled herself into a neat spiral to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. But one day, Sophie must have had very busy dreams when she woke up in the morning. She had a big fat knot in her tail. That's how we see a little root boat in the bed. And if you think you're like that too, you know. Yeah. Not auntie. Auntie keeps quiet. Auntie doesn't move to boat. Some people even talk in their sleep. Oh no. Not a knot, sighed Sophie. She set off wiggling and slithering through the jungle. But the knot kept getting caught between roots and branches. Every time, Sophie jumped and jerked and hurt herself. In other words, try as she may, Sophie was actually making the situation worse. See Sophie there? Quite a bit of discomfort. Oh, bad luck. Not a knot, said Sophie's friend. Thomas Tiger, when I've got a knot in my tail, I twirl it round and round and twirl it out. Twirl, I like that word. What does that make you think about? Let me hear my little people's twirl or something that you could twirl. Auntie, she can't even think of it herself or something when you say twirl. What do you think about? It makes me think of um, like a magic wand and you're twirling it around. Yeah. Or you can twirl a ribbon, twirl thread, like when you're on a sewing machine. Yeah, the anti brain's still ticking and you have it going around. Yeah. So Sophie tried twirling her tail. That's a lot of T words. Tried twirling her tail. But. Oh no, she found she couldn't twirl her tail on its own. Her whole body twirled around and round until she grew dizzy. And the knot still there, she sighed. Poor Sophie. Sophie met her friend, Emma Elephant. Oh, bad luck. Not a knot. She trumpeted. Another T word, trumpet. Ooh. <laughs> Auntie's having way too much fun. When I've got a knot in my trunk, another, is this a T word book or what? Another T word. In my trunk, I go into the long, tickly grass and try to sneeze it out. Let me everybody sneeze. Achoo! I sneeze a lot. More loudly than that. Emma showed Sophie the way to the long, tickly grass. Soon they were both sneezing away, and the knot still. Ah, 
Choo! Sneeze, Sophie. It's not helping. It's not helping poor Sophie at all. Mm -mm. I could just nip it out for you, offered Carl Crocodile with a glint of his teeth. No, thank you, said Sophie, slithering away as fast as she could. <laughs> Carl looked like at Sophie for food. <laughs> Look at Carl there with the big teeth, ready to bite out Sophie too. He will bite out the whole of Sophie. It's no good, she said sadly. I'm stuck with this knot forever and ever. I'll just have to get used to it. But Sophie's friends hated to see her so unhappy. They're real friends. They're true friends, right? Yeah. Now, if you really care about somebody, when that person is happy, you feel happy. You celebrate with that person. And when that person is sad or angry and upset, you can't feel good because you don't like to know somebody you love and care about is not feeling well. If we can't untangle Sophie's knot, let's have a jungle dance. These are people in my heart, you know, Auntie love her dancing. At least then we can try to cheer her up, they said. I like their thinking. That evening, all the animals gathered to dance to the jungle music. Sophie forgot the knot as she slithered and swirled and twisted and twirled with her dancing partners. Until suddenly... Oh, let me show you the picture of the dancing. They were really getting on. Uh, you see them there? What do you mean? I love it. My knot's gone, she cried. Thank you, my friends. And then, under the jungle moon, Sophie and her friends dance the night away i love this but i almost didn't read this but you know yeah hello liberian adrian sleepyhead liberian adrian always out on a boat yeah because they plan to actually take back the books tomorrow and get fresh books yeah and they didn't um really take note of that one but i'm so glad i did i'm so glad i read that book let me know if you enjoyed it let me know what you think the lesson is in that book you want me to share a bit about what I think the lesson is? Sometimes we spend so much time focusing on our problem. And we listen to everybody and we try this and we try that. And sometimes we end up getting deeper and deeper in the muck of our problem. And sometimes when we just take our mind off of it and go about doing what we can do, we will find we get up one day and what we thought was a problem is really not a problem or it's, really, it's not there anymore you didn't even realize yeah that's a message for as always the little people and the big people as well okay so you take it easy you know auntie having a very relaxing take it easy kind of sunday i know going to put the pot on yeah it's one of those kind of days and i'm loving it so continue to enjoy your day and I wish you a fabulous, fun. Phil, let me try with all the F's now. The book was with the T's. Let me try with the F's. Let me see. Fabulous, fun-filled, free-spirited, festive. Yeah. All those nice words. The best of everything for your week. Okay? Bye-bye now. Love you.